Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Hero House Reviews. Today we're looking at the Marvel Legends Family Matter 3-pack, the family in question being Magnetos. Although we do seem to be down a member because they haven't included Polaris, who was recently announced to be his daughter, I think? But that may have been retconned because it's been changed and debated quite a bit during her considerable history. And Marvel, this is celebrating 80 years of Marvel, so clearly they're all about the history with this release. Now, we'll dive right in. A lot of accessories, looking real good accessories-wise. Quicksilver, extra set of hands to signify running. Magneto's got two, like, magnetism bubbles. Another set of hands and an extra head. And then Scarlet Witch has got little spiral effects to show her using her chaos magic. So, pretty, you know, effect-heavy three-pack, and that's always a good thing. So they haven't just been like, you know, here's the figures, that's all you get. They've included a few goodies. The package, standard Marvel Legends fare, got some great artwork going at the side, showing the family. And if we swing back, you can see we've got some nice artwork showing them all doing their things. Bit of flavor text on the back. Magneto forms the Brotherhood of Mutants to combat anti-mutant sentiment, but the organization turns into a family matter when he recruits his train uh, twin superpowered children, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, to help him carry out his terrorizing agenda. All right, concise to the point. They didn't know they were his children when they first joined the Brotherhood, but I suppose that's not like super relevant. So why would it be on the three packs? Like very brief description. Same artwork on the side. Come back to them. So accessories wise, package wise, five out of five. Looks great, unless, you know, the accessories are defective, in which case I'll address that later. But couldn't be happier with that. And then the sculpt is looking pretty good on all of them. Magneto in particular, I think he's like the linchpin figure of this three pack. Although Scarlet Witch's face is amazingly detailed. Like the hair curls, everything. That was a lot of effort has gone into that face sculpt. It's the most sort of ladylike, realistic head I've seen on a Marvel Legends figure, so kudos to them for that. Quicksilver's head, so big. Might be trying to do like a he's coming at you real fast, head first, pinch effect, but I don't think it's worked too well. But we'll wait until we have him out before we, you know, fully judge that. Speaking of which, if I can find my faithful scissors, we will open them up. There we are, okay, hold on. Again, Marvel Legends, very collector-friendly design to their packs. You just slice there, and you peel up this bit of cardboard, which sometimes resists you, but today was quite kind. Uh, flip it up. This bit can be tricky. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh. Gods are being kind today. There we go. They're semi-freed. And you can sort of see their feet a bit more now. Magneto's really got that, you know, animated X-Men look about him, you know, from the 90s series. So that's good, he'll look great with Professor X. I don't actually remember Scarlet Witch or Quicksilver being in that cartoon. If they were, someone let me know, because I can remember no episodes where they appeared. Like, the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants consisted of, like, Quake, Pyro, um, the Blob and Toad. I think it was like Mystique's Brotherhood is the one I mostly remember. So if they were in it, yeah, let me know. And as it is, I'll quickly free them from the plastic, have a fiddle, let you know what I think. One moment. All right, and there you have it. That's the mount of the packet, and they look fantastic. Like, the special effects look great when they're using them. They're all sculpted so well, even Quicksilver over here. Who I would say is the weakest of the line. He looks dynamic when he's moving because of the big head, like it does portray like he's, you know, really coming at you. So that's quite clever. His paint is a little haphazard and sloppy in places, and he comes with the least accessories of any of them. But he's still, he's still a solid figure, and he's the best Quicksilver figure available to us. So that's good, and like you can see even the back of the packet, which I'm using as a background, has been included as like a fairly dynamic display option, because that looks really good. It looks like a panel from a 1960s comic, 
And I'm pretty sure the Brotherhood debuted in a 1960s comic. So you can't, you know, go wrong. Then you've got Magneto, who is the, you know, linchpin of this family, and he looks so regal. He's got a huge cape that sort of drapes over his shoulders. It does make him a bit heavy, because it is a big cape, but he stands perfectly fine on this cardboard, so clearly it doesn't affect his balance too much. There's not too much elaboration with this sculpt. I mean, he's a hench version of Quicksilver. He's got the sort of, you know, arms, the boots. The magnetism effect actually looks pretty damn good. So, another, yeah, he's another strong addition. The head sculpt is really fantastic. He looks very placid there. And, you know, I've heard people complain that he looks too placid, but Magneto shouldn't always be an angry dude. He is intelligent, he's articulate, and he is a man fighting for a cause. So, I think having a placid face for him to be discussing something with Professor X intelligently is a good idea. Then we jump across, and we have... Scarlet Witch with legitimately the best Marvel Legends head sculpt. Not just, like, female, but in general. Maybe there's a few monstrous creatures or cosmic beings who've got something more detailed, but in terms of human beings, that's a stunning effort. And that's so good. Her magic effects look cool, they're not overdone or cartoony, and they sort of look like her Chaos Bolts. And then the cape is very done well. I like how it sort of forms a scarf under her chin, and then I think it's like standard Marvel Legends lady body, like Silver Sable, maybe? But it just works, and I think this is my favourite, like, female, uh, ma uh, excuse me, favourite female Marvel Legends figure. Say that ten times really quickly. And yeah, very impressive. Very impressive. Very, like, yes, yeah, still. He <laughs> that head is too big. <laughs> The dynamic pose, I need to give him the running hands and have him in like a running pose, I think, to make it fully work, but I've seen some people take the head off Quicksilver and put it on Magneto to make young Magneto, which works, again, you know, they're father and son, so of course there should be a, a family likeness. And I guess we're at the stage where I should take some photos of them. I, my rating so far would be, you know... The accessories are good, the packaging is good, the figures are well sculpted, they really portray the Brotherhood extremely well. The only one with a sculpting issue is maybe Quicksilver with the big head, but that might change depending on how he looks as he's running. I can see they've given him butterfly joints, so he's also more poseable than the others to, you know, portray his sort of athletic... athleticism? I can say athleticism, I don't know what happened there with my head. Please, excuse me. But... Yeah, they just this is a dynamite set. If you like the X-Men and if you like the Brotherhood or Magneto or, or the family, then this is definitely something you need to pick up. So, uh, I guess I have the gripe about the head and the paint being a bit sloppy in places. Enough so that I had to mention it. So I think that makes this a 4.5... 4.75 out of 5. Very close to perfection, great value for money, very cool, lots of playability, yeah, a solid purchase, 4.75 out of 5, almost a perfect hit, and when you're dealing with three separate figures and you've got to nail all of them, getting that sort of score is nothing to, you know, be ashamed about. Another excellent offering, so yeah, 4.75 out of 5. And now, on to some pictures. One moment. And there you have it, folks. The Family Matters Marvel Legends 3-pack. As you can see, it looks pretty amazing once you've got it all out and when you've got them all put together. I mean, that's pretty much as good a, you know, Magneto family portrait as you could ask for. Quicksilver is looking good with that running face, like with the running hands attached, so that kind of mitigates the issue of the big head. That said, his paint detailing is a lot more flawed than I initially believed. His belt, in particular, has some smearing that's quite sloppy. So, that's detrimental. I'm not going to bump him down because the running hands 
mitigate the head enough to balance out the poor paint job, but it still means the figure is like not perfect, which is disappointing. Magneto and Wanda though are great, absolutely amazing figures. That head sculpt for Wanda and just Magneto's overall sculpt. I like that they made him so hench compared to Quicksilver. It really sort of adds gravitas to the character. I'm not sure how tall Magneto is meant to be in the comics. I'm gonna guess six two because basically every comic book character is six two. But anyway, I digress. 4.75 out of 5, a great 3-pack. If you can, pick it up. It gives you the best Scarlet Witch, Magneto, and Quicksilver you can get. And it's definitely worth it for the bevy of accessories and, you know, just the, the characters and how pleasing a display it makes. So yeah, go out and buy it. And thank you for watching, and if you want to see more, then we have plenty of reviews. We have Hero House, where you can see the action figures in action. And if you want to see them really in action, there is our new section where we do sort of, you know, just pure stop motion fights. And again, that isn't named yet. And there's only two videos so far, so I don't need a name quite yet. But if you've got some suggestions, feel free to throw them down. Otherwise, yeah, thank you for watching, and all the best. See you again. Bye.